Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Pull you a little closer. It is currently 5.14 p.m. on this now, <laughs> now it is a beautiful evening in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, it has rained most of the day. I was looking out here earlier. Now it's kind of just like sod and mud. But earlier there was like an inch and a half to two inches of just water, just like all through our walk. And I was actually sitting out here last night and I was like, well, maybe if um, I get real motivated later in the week, I'll weed all this because the weeds aren't that bad. And then today it rained all day long and it's just like, it pulled up all the weeds. There are so many weeds um, throughout our front walk now. Hey, how are you? Good, it's good to see you. Um, and there is a very brisk wind out here today, but it has been pouring down rain all day long and thunderstorming all day. Boo Radley has hated it. He has not liked the storms at all and has been absolutely terrified by the storms. Um, I woke up today and I don't know if it's my allergies. I don't know what it is if I got sick at the tail end of vacation. I don't feel like sick sick. I am just feeling drained. I'm just feeling absolutely drained. And um, in fact, I had a drama video that I was going to film for today. I w so... I had uh, seven videos that I was going to film for today, and, um, you know, yesterday I didn't feel great either, and I was really tired. You know, uh, two nights ago I got a lot of sleep. Last night I got a lot of sleep. I got, like, uh, like eight or nine hours of sleep last night. I feel like the camera is kind of, I don't know if it's the fact that I have a tan or what's going on, but I feel like it's kind of cloudy or something. I don't know what the settings are, but it's whatever. I've been, like, sipping at this cup of coffee that I made earlier, like, all day. Um, but anyway... Yesterday, I just felt really drained. I felt like I was getting sick. And I've kind of felt like that all day today, too. I felt like that all last night as well. Hey, how are you? Good. Two days in a row I get to see you. I know. It's nice that it stopped raining. I know. I'm so happy that it stopped raining. It's flooded. There's so much water in the, in the canals there that it's over our seawall. Oh, it's flooding over there? Oh, I'm going to walk down there later. I'll check it out. The ducks and the turtles are in the grass, but in the water. Aww. <laughs> I think they like it. I bet they do, too. She said the ducks and the turtles are, like, in the water and stuff. Because um, the seawall has, like, flooded over down. Well, the sea, she's talking about the seawall that, like, separates the two different, like, lakes is what she's talking about. Um, and there's, like, this grassy area that goes down there. And so she's talking about, like, they're... The, the turtles and the ducks are like in that grassy area where there's all that water. A lot of people have been out yesterday. Well, now this afternoon because the sun just came out. I feel like everything, I don't know if I can show you, but oh, they took all the flags out of our yard. I just noticed that. I wonder if that means that they're not going to do anything or maybe they are going to do something now and they're going to work on it. But I don't know if you can see, but like our, so our walkway is like full of greenness and then I don't know if you can really see it the sometimes it takes the camera a second but you can see like the trees are like all blooming and stuff down there it is definitely spring in Indianapolis what's interesting about it though is that spring in Indianapolis can still be pretty cold so today it was supposed to be a high of 70 I don't think it it doesn't feel like it's warm today but it's not I don't think it's 70 maybe it is I don't know we'll look and see the weather Oh, it's 67, 67, and there was a river flood warning, and, um, yeah, and then tonight it's supposed to be 36, but the next two days it's supposed to be really, really cold in Indianapolis, and that's kind of spring in Indiana, it's like you'll have some really nice days, and then it gets, like, really, really cold, like, tomorrow it's supposed to be 42, with a low of 34, rain showers in the morning, becoming a steady light rain in the afternoon, and then Thursday, we're supposed to have snow showers too, rain and snow in the morning, a few rain showers in the afternoon, and then Friday 48, Saturday 53, and then all next week it gets warmer, and then Sunday 56, Monday 67, and thunder rain showers early, and then 68, 71, 67, 62, 65, 69, 69, 68. So the middle of April looks like it's a lot of rain, a lot of rain in there too. So 
April showers bring May flowers. So it looks like we're gonna have a lot of rain in April, but that the temperatures are gonna be pretty nice. Because I mean, if it's like 65 and up, I can easily sit out here. I have shorts on today. I don't know if you can see, but I have shorts on and a t-shirt. Um, it was raining so hard earlier that I couldn't sit out here. I wanted to film my videos out here. But anyway, what I was saying was, I just have felt so drained since I got back. And honestly, I don't know if it's my allergies or not. Yesterday I took my allergy medicine. It seemed to help a little bit. Um, today I woke up and I just, I felt drained. Like, honest to God, I started, so last night I watched a bunch of TV, Alex and I watched some TV and stuff together, but last night I watched, um, I started, the very last thing I started was Apple, Apples. The book is called Apples, I think, May Fall, but I think the show is called, is it called the same thing? Apples Never Fall or whatever. Um, hold on a second, I was looking up my movie for my Peter desktop channel, Apples May Fall. Peacock, I guess it is called Apples May Fall. Oh no, it's called Apples Never Fall. It says, according to NBC, the novel version of the show is fiction, but author Liam O'Yarity did draw inspiration. Okay, what's the book? I feel like the book was called Apples May Fall. Or was it called Apples Never Fall? Why am I, have I thought that all of the, this time? Apples never fall book. Let's look it up and see what it says. Apple, it was called Apples Never Fall. Hmm. Well, I read it. I listened to it on Audible. But I started watching it last night. It's with Annette Benning in it, and I love Annette Benning. I was like watching it last night, and when I was watching it, I was like, what movie was she in that she has like nuances of it in this one? And it was The Grifters, which was one of my favorite movies back in the day. Did you guys ever see that with Olympia Dukakis? And, um, <clears throat> and John Cusack. Did you ever see that movie? Apples, ne or, Apples Never Fall. The Grifters. I love that movie, The Grifters. So anyway, um, I started watching it last night. I got like halfway through the first episode. And then it was like, I was like, I need to go to bed because I want to get up tomorrow. I wanted to make like seven videos today. And so I woke up this morning and I just, I really or did not feel great at all. Um, I just felt really worn down. What is going on with the light in here? Maybe it's because of the sun. But I just didn't, I, I felt worn down. I felt drained. Um, I was real congested and stuff like that. I keep on forgetting to take my allergy medicine. So I took it yesterday, but I haven't taken it today. And I don't know that it really helped that much yesterday. It helped some, but I don't know that it helped that much. But anyway, I don't know if it's the allergies or if I'm just drained or if just like, you know, traveling and whatever. I mean, even though we like were relaxing and all that kind of stuff, we were like constantly going and um, stuff like that. And so, I don't know. But anyway, I just feel drained. I just feel drained. I feel like I'm kind of like trying to get sick, if that makes sense, you know? And so, today I woke up and I was like, I think maybe I should just like take the whole day off and just watch Apples Never Fall and just relax all day long and not do anything. I thought I just started hearing rain. This is how it's been all day long. This is spring rains in the Midwest or probably wherever, but like, you'll be standing outside. Like I took Boo Radley out earlier and it was just like completely calm. And then all of a sudden it just like started pouring down. Like, no, I mean like literally out of nowhere. That's how it's been like all day today. So, but then I was like, I wanted to do this video for my Peter Dust Stuff channel. So I'm starting a new project new series on my Peter Dust stuff channel. It's real simple. I'm just picking a movie every week and we're going to all watch it together. And it's like a movie that, like some movie that I like from my childhood. But the first movie has something kind of, the reason I picked it was because the total eclipse is next week. And so, um, I wanted to make that video because Friday I forgot, I have a lot of stuff this week. Friday I have appointments all day and I totally forgot about that, um, that Alex is taking me to. And so, on Friday, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to film any videos, except for maybe like a vlog. And so I was like, I wanted to, this this new series or product, it's just a stupid idea. It's a silly, it's not a stupid idea. It's a cute idea, it's a fun idea. It's something, it'll be fun for people, anybody that wants to do it. It's kind of like when I did the movie series, when we watch like the Halloween movies in October and the Friday 13th series leading up to Friday 13th. Like I watched all those series, so it was fun for me. So I'm trying to do more fun stuff. Like when I was on vacation, I was thinking about like all of my channels, like my booktube channel and like, you know, having two book clubs with my booktube, with my book channel, 
makes my, um, oh, there's my neighbor across the street. I haven't seen her since I got back. Hi. She's waving like that to me. They're having construction done. I think they're having their whole kitchen redone or something like that. But anyway, um, having the two book clubs on my book channel, like really keeps me in it over there. And now that I'm posting more videos over there, like I just filmed one today and I, it wasn't the video that I planned to film. Like I'm loving posting over there again. And so I was like, you know, what could I do on like all of my channels? Like on my review channel, you know, could I review like pizza from every different place? Or could I review like different kinds of, I, I was had started like energy drinks. So I was thinking of like that, you know, and on my Peter Does stuff channel and like my Peterism channel, what are like different uh, series that I could do. So if you have suggestions, I'm totally open to suggestions of doing some new things, you know? And so I had been thinking about this idea. It was funny because I also got like a suggestion somebody left me a suggestion and said we should pick a movie out every week that just came out in the movie theater and we should go see it in the movie theater all of us together you know but I know that that's like real expensive for a lot of people and they can't do it so I was like I had already been thinking about I wanted to pick a movie well there was a specific movie that I wanted to watch with the total eclipse coming out and so I thought well I'll just do a video about it we can all watch it together and then I was like why don't I just you know pick a movie once a week and so anyway that, that's gonna be like on Fridays that I announce that and so, since I can't film that on Friday, I wanted to film that today and put that video up and give people time to watch that and stuff like that. So anyway, so I filmed that. Well, then I turned around right after that and I was like, well, I'm gonna do a Peterisms video. So I did a Peterisms video. And then I was uploading those videos and I was getting right, I was like, I'm just gonna do those and do a vlog. I had already kind of decided that I wasn't gonna do a drama video today because it was getting later in the day and Alex is actually at work later than I thought he would be. And so I didn't know what time he was gonna get home and I thought if this video ends up being like an hour, I don't want him to not feel like he can, like if I do it in the bedroom because it was raining, you know, all kind of stuff. The video that I wanted to do was one that I actually kind of have to look into. Like I have all this stuff like printed off but I have to like read more of it and stuff like that. There's a couple videos I'm doing like that. So I was like, I'll just wait till tomorrow. But then I was like, oh, well tomorrow is Cousin Fun Day. So that'll end up having to be Thursday that I do it. So I, I don't know how many, so this is gonna be, a, this week is gonna be a slow week. But anyway, um, so I came inside and I was uploading those videos and then I was like, I need to pick a book that I want because I was waiting for um, Reese Witherspoon to announce her book. I feel like maybe I got it wrong on my booktube channel. I thought she announced it yesterday, but I guess she announced it today, maybe. But anyway, the book that she announced it's a book that I want to read, but I just don't want to read it right now because I want to read a thriller. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just go through the books that I'm looking at reading, like, or listening to on Audible, and I'll have the audience pick out my book. So that's what I did. So I filmed a booktube video really, just really quick sitting out here, which I was going to do a booktube video if I did film one today of, like, all the books that I read on vacation. So I ended up doing that book, and that video instead. So... Yeah, I was going to take the whole day off and then I ended up filming. I always say that. I feel like, I kind of like there's a part of me that feels like, I don't know, like I feel, I feel bad because I do know that there are people out there, like I'll get messages from people that'll say like, um, like I've really missed your vlogs and stuff, which is like so nice. I think I said that in my video yesterday, you know, so I always feel bad like if I take days off and I don't film anything, you know, and. I'll like talk to other YouTubers and they'll be like, I haven't filmed a video in like four or five days. Why do you feel bad about it? I'm just like, I think people are so nice to watch my videos that, you know, like I want to film stuff. Plus I, I love filming stuff. Once This is the problem is once I get started, I can't stop. Like if Alex had plans tonight, which he does and he's coming home, but if he had plans tonight, I probably, instead of doing this right now, I'd probably be filming a drama video and then I would just film my vlog later. And I probably would have filmed a review video and all this kind of stuff. So... My neighbor on the corner just came home. So last night, Alex and I watched, um, what did we watch? The night before we watched RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, last night we watched Vanderpump Rules from last week. And then he wanted to watch the Vanderpump After Show, so we watched that too. But we didn't get it started till like later. Um, and then I was like, I want to lay down and take a nap tonight because I was like really, really tired. Like, I just felt like, I don't know if it's, um, my allergies or who it is. Oh, that's not my neighbor.
Oh, it's something my neighbor's next door is getting dropped off, but he parked across the street. I don't know why. But anyway, um, so I lay down and took a nap for a little bit. Alex came into bed and he was watching Shameless and I just, it was so cozy. First of all, Boo Radley came home last night and he was just like the wildest dog in the entire world. I mean, he was like running around the house. He was like being so crazy. He was like, whenever he's gone for a while and he comes home, he does this thing where he's like, mm, 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 mm. he like talks a lot. And so he was doing that last night. He was wanting treats. We like put his food down. He like gobbled his food up. And, um, he's like gained weight while we've been gone. <laughs> like he's a little, he's a little chubby and, um, which is probably good for him. But anyway, he was like running around. He was like running upstairs, jumping on the bed, running back downstairs, running around as he's like <sighs> his mouth open the whole time. He was having so much fun. Well, he kept on wanting us to go upstairs last night. Well, Alex was watching TV downstairs. So I said, I'm going to lay down and take a nap and let, you know, he can like go upstairs and get comfortable. So took him upstairs and um, when we're gone, he will only sleep in that purple bed that Lucy sent us. And so, but when, when he's here, he's kind of like not so much into the bed anymore unless it's like on the floor and he doesn't want to like sleep in the bed and whatever. So, but now he was like in the bed, in the little purple bed. We had it on the bed last night, out of the bed. He didn't know where like where to find. He was like having such a hard time. And then like, so I was laying down. So then Alex came upstairs and he started watching Shameless in bed and I was so cozy. It was like the three of us in bed. And Boo Radley kept on getting up, circling around, going to the end of the bed, coming back up. And finally, after like 15 minutes of doing this, cause I was like, I'm never gonna be able to get a nap. Finally, he just like, he like laid down. He went <sighs> like that with a hump and he like looked at me and he was out. I mean, he stayed in that same position the entire night. What is going on? What is going on right now? Are you on? Do you want me to turn it off? No, I just want to say hi. I don't oh, well, hi. How are you? How was your Easter egg hunt? I didn't even know you were out of town. I got your text. How was your Easter egg hunt? That was fun. So that guy right there yeah. was one of the crew that was working over by the pool a few uh -huh. weeks ago. Yeah. Real soon. So we can, yeah, yeah the three three couples. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Bye. So she was uh, catching me up on all the neighborhood gossip. <laughs> so she was, it was so funny because she's a neighbor that I'm the closest to. And um, I, we always tell our neighbors when we're going away. And I told her husband, well, her husband never told her that we were going away, so she didn't know. So we got this text on like Friday and she was like, I haven't seen you around in a while. And she was just telling me, like, the neighbors that I, that I always walk by that I say are, like, my favorite neighbors. They walk by with their dog. She was like, she was really worried about you because she hasn't seen you on the front porch. And the last time was when you had pancreatitis. And so she was like, I was really worried about you. And she was like, then when we were texting, she was like, her husband said, oh, yeah, did you not know they were in Miami? And she was like, how would I know? And he goes, I didn't tell you. Peter told me to let you know that we were gonna, they were gonna be in Miami and the dates. So she had texted us on Friday because they just had a new grandbaby and so um, their daughter lives close to here and she, two, the two grandsons are always riding bikes and stuff out here. So she texted us and she's like, we're having an Easter egg hunt. Um, do you, I haven't seen you guys, but I wanted to ask if you guys care if we like use, you know, the backyard and whatever. And we're like, so I texted her back and I was like, use our driveway, use our walkway, use our front porch, use whatever. We don't really care. And I was just telling her, I was like, you know, we don't care about that kind of stuff. Whenever the grandkids want to use that stuff, whatever. And so she was like telling me about the Easter egg hunt and whatever. But then she was telling me about all the workers that have been in the neighborhood. And she found this like key fob down by the pool because she's the one that's putting on this like solar eclipse thing because she's in charge of the recreation for the neighborhood. And so she was down there and she's found this key fob and she was telling me the whole story about like it, the key fob had like this interesting like keychain thing on it and that she put it on somehow like she had like a friend of hers put it on like next door but the guy wasn't on next door because he was a worker and how they tracked down this keychain and found out who it was and he like needed those keys and like they didn't have copies of it and whatever so it was like this guy that came over here today it was a really cool story but anyway so we were catching up and she was telling me all this kind of stuff and she um is really into like um Meditate. I was telling her about like this meditation that I read today and like telling her about these meditation books and she's really into all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I sometimes think about like my mom, when my mom lived here, 
the neighbors were like 20 years older than my mom and she didn't necessarily she got along with them like to say hi and whatever there was like her grandma she never liked but like other people in the neighborhood like she would say she knew him to say hi to like this one guy that lives in the neighborhood he moved here his wife died and then he moved out of here and then he moved back in here and he's now like on the other side but somebody told me he's in a retirement home he used to work or he used to walk every day with my uncle dave so my mom knew him and really liked him and some of the other people but by and large like my mom when she moved in here she moved in here when she was okay so she got sober when she was 51 which would have been the summer after so she moved in here when she was my age she was literally the youngest person in this neighborhood when she lived in here like one of the youngest people and so a lot of the people were like 70s 80s and she didn't like know any of them they had all right they were very clicky and whatever my mom would love it now like um just sitting out here today i've had like so many people that have come up to me and been like, oh my God, I haven't seen you sitting on your porch in the last week. I've really missed you. Where have you been? Um, you know, she came over and talked to me and like all this kind of stuff. And so a lot of people have said that to me. Hey, someone's walking by right now. And um, you know when people are walking in flip flops that it's warm outside in Indiana. <laughs> but it just, my mom would love this. My mom would, you know, love all that. Uh, we were talking about like, you know, um, doing another dinner like the three of us and whatever and um which is why I mentioned it at the end but so yeah we even talked about like the three of us like three neighbors over here and then the two over there on the corner like the five of us are the ones that like get along really really well us having like hosting like a little block party for like everybody like around here and anybody could come because in our neighborhood even though our neighborhood's so small like some of the cul-de-sacs will have a block party just for that cul-de-sac so we were thinking about doing like a block party and like having everybody just bring their own things and whatever and like chairs and set it up here in the middle of the street because nobody drives down here and there's different ways to get out and then like have it like in our little driveways our three driveways kind of meet right here and then um like open it to anybody in the neighborhood so have a little block party i remember when i was a kid we had like a block party my mom really wanted me to go and it was after we had like all gotten in trouble as kids or something like that and I didn't want to go and I can remember like looking out the window at this block party down the street. I always felt like when I was a kid growing up I always felt like I was on the outside looking in like always in any situation. Oh by the way Alex is on his way home. So yeah so she stood here and talked to me for like 15 minutes. So that was really fun to see her. We always talk about books and stuff like that. The bird's so pretty. I'm so happy that it is springtime in Indiana again and like, oh god, we should look and see how many days until the pool opens. I think the pool opened on the 18th of May last year. Whoop, 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 whoop. But if the pool opens on the 31st, can I see the bird? Where is the bird? It sounds like it's really close. If, um, if the pool opens on the 31st, these people walking I've never seen these people before three women I've never seen before in my entire life uh, if the pool opens when it's supposed to which is May 31st we have 58 days left oh my god Caroline for her pool countdown she has a picture of um, she's a picture of us underneath there see mine just says it has like a little picture you get to pick your picture it says summer Friday May 31st 2024 12 a.m. I was like, I'm going to the pool the first day. I don't care how cold it is. I'm getting in the pool. I'll do a polar dive swim or whatever this year. I'm real excited about it. So, okay. So last night we watched Vanderpump Rules and then the after show. It's so interesting because they're coming down to the wire of like, they're like put out the reunion outfits today of Vanderpump Rules. And like Lisa Vanderpump is like... She hasn't even been on the show, but, like, maybe, like, five minutes of two episodes. It's, like, not even about her anymore. But anyway, Vanderpump Villa started this week. I think I'm going to watch that tonight, see if Alex wants to watch that. Um, he'll probably want to watch that. I think he's done watching The Valley. So, we didn't watch The Valley. I mean, I don't know if he's going to watch it or not. He didn't ask me if I watch. He asked me if I watched Vanderpump Rules. He didn't ask me if I watched The Valley. So, um... So then after that was when I laid down and he came upstairs and watched Shameless and then I woke up 
and it was storming when I woke up, and Boo Radley was like, um, like still asleep. I couldn't believe it. Last night he slept through most of the storm. I couldn't believe it because today he was like going crazy. So I got up and um, came downstairs. And what did I watch first last night? Oh, I watched The Bachelor first last night. I finished The Bachelor. It was two hours. Um, I like sped through some parts of it, but because I, I already knew what happened. But it, it's so funny because like the show is so cheesy and the concept is so weird and everything like that. But I just feel like I'm such a member of Bachelor Nation now and not embarrassed about it either. Like I just love it. Although I will say, and I'll say this for my reality TV channel, I'm not real excited about Jen as the next Bachelorette, but. Um, they did this whole thing on there about, like, I mean, it's a week out, so for me to do a video on my reality TV channel, I can, but nobody's going to really care, right? So they brought Daisy out there because everybody wants her to be the next Bachelorette, but I think sh they asked her, and basically, they tur she turned it down. She didn't say that, but she's, like, not in a mood to date right now and stuff like that, so... It's Jen. I like Jen. I think Jen's great. Um, I think she's gorgeous. I think she's smart. I think she'll be a good Bachelorette. I just... I there were other people that I was more excited about on the show. Like, even Maria, although Maria was a lot of drama, I think even she would have been, like, she would have hyped up the views, you know, at least. So I watched that, and then I finished The Amazing Race, and I'm loving... God, I, I love The Amazing Race and Survivor. I was telling Tanya this the other night, because, like, I love The Housewives and all that. I love all the drama. But to watch it constantly is actually a lot. And so, like, Survivor in Amazing Race kind of gave me a break from that a little bit. And actually, there was this, um, last week on Survivor, they did this journey where they get to do these, like, competition things, and they get, like, awards or, like, advantages. And this Hunter guy, who I really like, I hope he wins the whole show, he did this one, and it was where he had to put all these seasons, like, their flags in order. And as he was doing it, like, they showed scenes from past seasons I wasn't aware that people like Rupert, Parvati, Sandra, or Sandra, whatever her name is, and all, all these people had come back for multiple episodes or multiple series that were like challenge series. And I haven't watched any of those. And I was telling Tanya, I was like, I love Survivor so much, and I haven't watched it in so many years that I should go back and I should like start watching them. Like, and I, I don't know which one to start with though, because the thing is, I don't remember the last one that I watch. So, but I think they're all on Paramount. So I'm thinking about going back and watching the old Survivor uh, seasons this summer. Actually, if you're a Survivor super fan, will you put like underneath here, like the seasons you think I should watch or the, the order I should watch them in or whatever? Cause I don't really know. So that would be a way. It's like, I've got to go back and finish well, I've still got to finish Fear of the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead. I actually need to put that on my list of some shows i got to watch. So, I finished that. Then, I wanted to watch that Idaho College Murders. I think it's on Peacock or Paramount. I thought it was like a whole documentary about the Idaho College uh, murder. So that was the true crime book for March. And I just finished it while we were on vacation. It was like, it was real short on Audible. It was like six hours and 45 minutes. And so I listened to it literally like in one setting. I started it and then I finished it that night. And um, I think that was, that was Saturday night, I think. Saturday and Saturday night. It was actually pretty good. I didn't know anything about that case. I didn't follow that case at all. Um, I kind of wish I had because apparently there were tons of like people following it and all this kind of stuff. It's such a sad and tragic case. It's so sad and tragic. So I watched a documentary. The documentary had, it was really not a documentary. It was like a 45 minute episode on like Nightline or something like that. I don't know what it was. But it kind of ended where the book did, except it was so quick. It didn't like, like the book explained the arrest and how they found um, that Brian Comberger guy or whatever his name is and how they looked him up. I feel like I hear my husband's Jeep coming down the street. But anyway, Col Colberger, is that his name? And the the different people that were suspects. It go the book goes into a lot deeper of that. It goes into a lot of the family history. It goes into a lot of the families, the friendship. It goes into the friendship of Kaylee and Maddie a lot. Um, so I watched this documentary last night. It was 45 minutes. It was real quick. I mean, it was kind of like, the only thing that was really interesting was, I got to see like more like, because I didn't, you know, obviously in the book, I didn't 
because I listened to it, I didn't see the the pictures and the the TikToks, and they show all that. Like the pictures of like the victims, they show all that. They show their families, they show their siblings. Because um, the one guy that died, he was a triplet, and so they showed his siblings. They showed their parents. They showed like the funeral and stuff like that. So all of that I didn't get to see at the actual house. I had to like Google search and look up, and all this kind of stuff. The King, the King Street or King's Road house or whatever it was. It was interesting seeing it because when you read the book, and even when you watch from the news footage, it makes it seem like the house is like sitting out. But when you watch this documentary, the house is like literally right off of Sorting Fraternity Row. It's like right on the main campus. I didn't re get that from reading the book at all. It made it seem like it was a little bit more isolated. I think in my head I was thinking of like Bloomington, Indiana. And where they have like sorority and fraternity row and then there's like a whole other street there's many streets of like old houses and that's kind of what i was thinking in my head but those are even kind of a little isolated alex lived in one of those houses with like sarah and um the girl that we met up with in florida before you know when they were all in college he lived there with like four i think it was five of them that lived in the house so um that was the house that little pee, pee the flying chihuahua first lived in that alex's boyfriend gave him for a birthday present so anyway um i think i was kind of thinking of like that house because one time when we went to bloomington like alex like took me there and showed me the house and stuff like that and so i think i was thinking of that but it wasn't like that at all it was like this house that was like in the middle of like all this other stuff um so I watched that last night. It wasn't horrible. I wouldn't recommend it. It was literally like a Nightline special. It wasn't that great. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I will say it was, it, it kind of just like cut off and interviews just cut off. It was, I mean, it was poorly done in that way. It was definitely done, done worse than an episode of like Friday Night Lights and all that kind of stuff. Um, but as far as like just getting the basic information, they leave a lot of stuff out. But there was actually some things in there that weren't in the book. So if you watch... If, you, if you're part of the book, True Crime Book Club and you want to know like all the facts, watch that and read the book and it'll give you like a full thing about it. But I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos about it too of people that covered it. I did not realize until I read the book that, and no, I'm not going to start this, but there are true crime YouTubers out there. I mean, the true crime YouTubers that I follow, like Stephanie Harlow and Christina Randall and Kendall Ray and things like that, they do not do... Not that I'm aware of, from what I've seen, do they do this, but they were talking in the book about, like, a lot of these true crime YouTubers. They were talking about some woman that had started, like, a TikTok or a YouTube channel, and she was called, like, um, a woman in a beanie or something like that. They kept on referring to her, but that there was all these YouTube channels that, like, whenever something, like, big happens in true crime, they literally pick up and they move there for, like, three months. I, none of the channels that I have ever... Does anybody know a channel out there like that? I'd be actually kind of interested to know who they, who they were, who those channels were. But none of the channels that I watch do that. Um, and so, anyway... There's a lot of, like, handling of true crime that I think needs to be done a certain way. I don't know. But anyway... So I watched that, and then when I got done with that, oh, I watched The Valley after that. The Valley was not bad this week, I have to tell you. I'm, But honestly, Jax, who I really can't stand, his wife Brittany, who I like, but she's so defensive of Jax. And, and I would be doing this on my reality TV channel, but I'm going to wait till they're both on tonight and then cover it someday this week, the catch-up of it. So... And Brittany, his wife, who I like, but I feel like she defends Jack, Jax at any excuse, excuse, and now they're separated. And Kristen Doty, who is just a mess, but she's kind of not really a mess on this show. Like, she's kind of, like, matured and grown up and got her shit together. The three of them carry the show. The rest of them are completely boring. Like, some of them are kind of interesting. I like the woman that was Miss USA. Her name's Nia, and I like her husband. I think her husband's name is Danny, and they, like, sell real estate or something. I like them. The one guy that's, like, real arrogant that they're already, like, separated and divorced, like, since the show's filmed. I can't remember what his name is. I don't like that guy. The woman of the couple that's um, pregnant, she, I like her. I think she's funny. They're nice. I don't know. The show's growing on me, you know? But I've only watched two episodes of it now. So... Got caught up in that, and then that's when I started watching Apple's Never Fall, 
and I watched like half of the first episode. It's really good. The the one star on there that plays the sun, well, Caroline and Tanya both told me that it was fantastic. So, but the guy that plays the sun, like the oldest son on there, that's real competitive with the dad. Where I stopped it was because the thing is, I read the book and I was so into that book that I know, like, I, I remember it's about a woman that goes missing and you think she's like dead or something like that, but that's not it at all. I remember, like, the ending is so completely different than you think it's gonna be. Um, and, but I do remember there's like this woman that comes and stays with them. And the kids are talking about, it. well, first of all, the whole thing takes place in Australia, but they've changed it to West Palm Beach, which is fine, it's whatever, but, um, so the kids are all sitting there talking, and they're like, Mom's not calling us back. I don't remember that's how the book starts, but I could be wrong. I do remember it goes back between now and then. But then they say, this woman that comes in her life and she caused a lot of trouble, here's Alex. I can always hear his car. Um... And so, the part that I stopped it on was right after they had like a family dinner and played tennis, and then the woman's knocking on their door. I don't remember what happens with her, but I know as soon as I hear her story, I'm gonna remember the rest of the book. So, um, I'm kind of like hoping I don't, because it looks really good. Annette Benning is so good in it. So anyway, and the guy that plays the dad is very good in it, but the guy that plays the oldest son, I was like, he's real good looking, and I was like, how do I know him? Like, what do I, how do I know him? And I like, whenever I'm watching a show, I always Google, Google search the cast. And so like, I Google searched him and he was in White Lotus. He played one of the couples in White Lotus too. Do you guys know the two couples that like, um, they ended up like sleeping with each other's partners. Those, that show was a lot. I'm ready for White Lotus 3 to come out. So, so yeah. Um, there are so many shows right now that I want to watch. I was making a list of it last night. Has anybody been watching Elsbeth? It's like on... Oh, wait. Um, has anybody watched Elsbeth? Is it any good? I don't even know where to watch it. I just saw like an ad for it and I thought it looked kind of cute. So Apples Never Fall, Elsbeth, with, I have a question mark, and Palm Beach. But I think I want to wait until Palm Beach is all the way out. How many episodes are out of Palm Beach right now? Oh, Palm Royale. Sorry, Palm Royale. I need to actually, there's my other neighbor. <laughs> so my guys are so tan. Um, Palm Royale. Okay, how many episodes was there? I heard it was fantastic. Oh my god, it looks like it was. Maybe I should start watching this after I finish Apples Never Fall. The fifth episode is coming this Wednesday, so that'll be five episodes out. The thing is, I'm just kind of like in the mood to like binge watch series. Nobody commented on Constellation on Apple. Not one person. So I don't think one, may, if they did, I missed it, but I don't think one person said anything about Constellation. I know everybody tells me to watch Ted Lasso. Manhunt, what is this manhunt? That is supposed to be about the Lincoln assassination, astonishing story of the hunt for John Wilkes Booth. Is anybody watching that? Is that good? How many episodes are out? The fifth episode's coming this Friday. Might try that. Steve Martin, a documentary. Masters of the Air. Oh, here it is, Constellation. How many seasons are out of this? Is it not over either? Oh no, season finale, episode eight. So I might watch that. Oh, the new look. Alex was wanting to watch that. This is about Christian Dior and his contemporaries, Coco Chanel, Pierre Balmain, and Cristobal Balenciaga and navigated the horrors of World War II and launched modern fashion. How many episodes of that are out? See, I'm telling you right now, Apple is where it's at when it comes to TV shows. Oh, episode 10, it's the season finale, comes out this week. Maybe Alex and I will start watching that or I'll start watching it. The Reluctant Traveler with Eugene Levy, I have no desire to watch. The Morning Show, Alex wants to watch that. He said it was great. Oh, Loot! Is season two out of Loot? No, it's coming out, though. Oh my God, I can't wait for Loot to come out. Okay, watch Elsbeth. Let's look up this. 
watch Elsbeth. Has anybody even heard of this show? I also want to watch Ghosts, since I have stars. Does anybody watch Ghosts? Okay, it's on Paramount for free. And you can watch it on Hulu if you have the premium. Let's look up Paramount. Da -da -da. I don't know anything about this show, but it looks good. Oh, you know what? I don't know why, but it, oh, here it is, Elsbeth. Okay. No, I looked up Extent. Elsbeth. This is what it looks like. Does anybody know this show? Series returns, series, okay. April 4th, it comes back. This is what it's about. It's like a mystery, I think. A theater student is found dead in her apartment. Elizabeth suspects foul play and enters a game of wits against the victim's theater director. Elizabeth must balance her role with the NYPD and her methods to make her case and uncover the killer. I don't know. Is it going to last? Is it going to make it? Should I watch it? Should I not? Is it any good? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know all the best shows you're watching right now. Because I need some new shows. Can I, watch, can I show you something? Here's my weekly TV shows, okay? It is like, you can't really see it. But I have RuPaul's Drag Race, which we're down to almost the end. Vanderpump Rules, which we're down to almost the end. The Valley, Survivor, The Amazing Race, and Vanderpump Villa, which to start this week, and I don't even know if I'm gonna finish that one. So I've got literally six shows I'm watching right now <laughs> over the course of a week. Then my extra shows down here are Apples Never Fall by Peacock, Elsbeth, and Palm Royale. Okay. And then, hold on a second. I have all these shows to binge watch, okay? Like The Old Survivors, Sister Wife, Southern Charm, Below Deck, Below Deck Mediterranean, Below Deck Durant Down Under, Below Deck Sailing, Below Deck Adventure, Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of New Jersey, Real Housewives of Orange County, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the old ones, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the old ones, Married to Medicine, Selling Sunset, Selling Beverly Hills, Love is Blind, and The Circle. Those are all my shows to binge watch that I haven't even started yet. And then True Crime series I'm watching. Murder Under the Friday Night Lights, I have one season left of that. Murder in the Heartland and Evil Lives Here. Evil Lives Here has like, I think, something like 32 seasons or something. <laughs> but if you guys have other shows to recommend, please let me know. Um, I have to just tell you, just doing this vlog made me feel better. I feel less drained, I feel more energized, I feel better. So, all right, I'm gonna get off here now and um, go inside and see what Alex and Boo Radley are doing and what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight and then watch some shows and take a nap and just relax and tomorrow's Cousin Fun Day and I'll film some videos and yeah, spring is here. Although tomorrow it's gonna be real cold. Tom Can you believe Thursday it's gonna snow? Anyway, I hope that you guys are having a, it'll be the, probably the last snow of the year. Uh, oh my God, I should run out and film my video on Thursday. <laughs> film my movie that I haven't written yet and get everybody together on Thursday for my movie. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys are having a magically, <laughs> a magically amazing, um, what is today? Tuesday. And if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. And remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want or your week if you need to or you want to. Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh, don't tell me. Just do it because it's a nice thing to do. Just put some goodness and some love and kindness out there in the world. And three, most importantly, um, I was going to say, watch Thumbelina the Squirrel on... Oh, you guys, I have to tell you. Oh, you know what? I didn't look to see. Big Marvis Teeth. He's this dog that I follow on... Um, oh, my God. It was breaking my heart. He is this dog, this rescue dog that has like this, all these teeth in his mouth and he has like too many teeth and an overbite and all this kind of stuff and neurological issues. And so he had a neurological appointment today and his mom, she was so worried about him and like she did this live thing last night. I was so, oh my God, it broke my heart to watch. And so I'm not going to look on online to see what the results are because she was going to put up the results as soon as the appointment was over. I saw the appointment was this afternoon at like two. I saw it. So, but anyway... Prayers for all the rescue animals out there and prayers for Thumbelina the squirrel and Marvis and his big teeths. I love Marvis so much. He's just, oh, some of these dogs just like, their stories and their perseverance and they just keep on going and they just enjoy life, you know, with everything that's handed to them. Just, I don't know. There's, there's such a sweetness about that and it's just a gratitude and just living every day, you know? And um, I love that. I learn lessons from those little animals every single day. 
So third and most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much I mean to you. Like I always say, you don't know. You might be putting a smile on their face. You might be changing their day for the better. You might be giving them some hope and you might be making them not feel so all alone. Also, be kinder to one another. Love one another a little bit more. And most importantly, be kinder and love yourselves a little bit more because um, if you are kinder to yourself, then you'll be kinder to others. And if you love yourself more, then you will love others more as well. And isn't that what it's all about? And uh, I love you guys so much. See you guys tomorrow. Love you. And I'll see you then. Bye. Love you. And uh, for those that just happen to stick around, one more I love you. It's been a long time since I've done that. So uh, since it's been a long time, I guess I also have to say, happy birthday, Lena. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you.